Good morning, Cornstalk. This is Todd, a.k.a. Roy, a.k.a. Bobby Jeremy. Fun home, opening Friday. I'm going to be taking you around with me today with the vlog. Vlogging Molly, that's what we're going to do today. I'll check back later. First thing in the morning, you wake up, and you put on CNN. First stop of the day, Cornstockians. Gotta get it in while I can. It's 7.37-ish in the morning. As Chris Cuomo says, let's get after it. It is protein central in there, but I promise you, it is essential. At least that's what I tell myself. This is a vegan protein. Yeah, I don't particularly care for it. But it was free. Musical theater fans, maybe you can tell what this show is from. I'm not dead yet. I'm gonna take you guys into the gym with me today. And maybe even offer a little bit of free advice. Whether you want it or not, I guess. So stay tuned. Here's your first free lesson here. Train abs every day. Seven to 10 minutes is all it takes, actually. You do not need to get in there and kill it for about a half hour doing a bunch of crunches and things like that. Just do some kind of ab training where you're curling your tailbone under, driving your belly button in towards your spine, keeping your rib cage closed on itself. Seven to 10 minutes a day is all it takes. And then of course, a little bit of diet change might be good. Not starting a diet, a actual consistent uh, change in your nutritional habits. Hard to do when Ivani's is giving away that bread for practically free, but you gotta make the change. It doesn't have to be big, you can start small. Okay gang, so I just finished my workout and I wanna show you something. Now I want you to keep in mind also, this wasn't the most intense workout I've ever done. I uh, was chatting with somebody for a little while in the middle of it, um, but I'm gonna show you my favorite results here, guys. So, spin that around. Here you got a few different things. This is what I did today. Stair climber for 10 minutes. Treadmill for 20 minutes. And then weights for 43 minutes. So roughly the same spent doing quote unquote cardio as I did uh, weight training. When you're trying to lose weight, people think that they just need to do cardio because you sweat a little more usually. That could not be further from the truth. One, cardio simply means elevated heart rate for an extended period of time, right? So if you are lifting with intensity, it doesn't even need to be power lifting or lifting really, really heavy, um, your heart rate will rise. And if you have limited uh, breaks between your sets, your heart rate will stay lifted. So you will have the cardio aspect of your workout. And then, because of the weight training, not only will you burn more calories at the time, because between the stairs and the treadmill, and that's again, 30 minutes total of cardio, I only burned, according to my Fitbit, about, I think, 175 calories, not even 200, in 40 minutes, 40 minutes of weight training, which was my ab workout, about six and a half minutes, about five minutes of stretching, and then the rest of it was lifting with you know decent sized breaks and then obviously you know chatting with somebody else that works out here um i actually burned 100 extra calories more in addition to that because of the weight training and the the burn that you feel in the muscles i will continue to burn calories while my muscles recover which is not something that ever happens on the treadmill or any other cardio machine so while i do like to get on the treadmill and stuff to get a little bit of a sweat going i would never ever do or suggest doing that as opposed to weight or strength training. Again, it doesn't need to be heavy, it doesn't need to be crazy, you don't need to kill yourself, but that work doesn't take more than a like half hour, 45 minutes, your body will change. That's how it gets done. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna get changed here and I gotta head to my next destination. I'll see you in a little while. Next stop today, everybody, the fabulous Velocity Dance Center. Where's Tam? There's Tam. There she is. We all know Tamra. We all love Tamra. Hi. And Sophie is one of my favorites. The fresh new look with the hair. I'm loving it. Thanks. FYI, people, good field is not too far. Get your butts in the class. I'm teaching a private lesson today. Well, semi-private technically because there's two people, um, and they're already fantastic dancers. So I was like, what do they need me for? But no, it's going to be great. They're fabulous and uh, shameless plug. 
I teach tap and jazz on Saturdays <laughs> for three hours straight, right? I highly suggest giving it a shot. Also, it doesn't matter if you take somewhere else. Anybody should encourage you to take from as many people as you can. Different styles and different techniques are always good to learn. And ballerinas out there, take tap class. I've noticed since I first started teaching, thanks to Tamara, by the way, that ballerinas in particular sometimes have a little trouble with musicality. Jazz yes, jazzerinas need to come take ballet, though. <laughs> so that would really help your musicality if you started taking tap so you can find the accents in the music and it will only make your other kind of styles that much stronger. <laughs> we'll be back shortly. I don't want to take up too much time in each little segment. <laughs> Plus, I never know how this stuff works. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you guys to the greatest recovery tool ever created. Tim Tam. Look at this bad boy. It is about as scary as it looks. You pull the trigger. It is a jackhammer for your muscles. It does hurt, but it is so worth it. This is like full Beauty and the Beast mode. I need six eggs! It's literally six eggs. I'm Gaston in it. I have usually five or six eggs a day. I don't usually go for the egg whites, but when they're hard boiled, I don't like the yolks. I do want to talk a little bit about um, how I started a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say started. How I kind of became the dancer, so to speak, that I am now. Um, I trained, as most of you probably know, in New York. Um, but after school, and in a little while, but for the couple years that um, followed, um, my graduation. Harry, um, I studied pretty much exclusively with uh, a gentleman named Mark Santoro. Um, he's a veteran of nine Broadway shows uh, and just a phenomenal, phenomenal teacher. Um, he now lives in Florida, teaches yoga full time. Uh, I, I owe generally everything to him, but I truly do believe that probably the greatest um, privilege or honor that I have is that um, he saw something in me and not only that, uh, that he's given me license um, and blessing to pass on to another generation of younger dancers the technique and the work that he gave to me. Um, I, I can't think of a higher honor really than that because I truly believe that it is, especially for tap, but for tap and as jazz as well, um, the, you know, the best uh, technique, for, especially for people who want to do theater dancing. Um, but that's just a little background there. Uh, so everything I teach really is stuff that I learned from him that was passed on to him from his, you know, his mentor. Um, and it's, it's really fantastic. Now, as a quick segue, uh, let's, let's talk about Fun Home for a little bit. Now, it's not a secret that um, I'm very picky about shows. Uh, a lot of shows I do not like at all. Um, even ones that I think are kind of fun. Um, that being said, uh, one of the reasons I was looking forward to being back here and being able to do theater, you know, kind of when I wanted to, as opposed to feeling like I had to do it because it was a job, um, was that I could pick shows that that I either really wanted to do because I really love them or that actually means something and have value or both. I mean, it's not mutually exclusive, but um, Fun Home is one of those shows. Seeing it in New York, I thought this is a show that deserves to be written. It deserves to be seen. Um, and it should be seen. Not only by people in the coast, but people here, especially people here. So they can experience the perspectives of others intimately. and. That's exactly what this show does. So I truly believe, no matter what your background is, this is a show that is absolutely worth seeing and I highly recommend seeing it. Aside from the fact that the talent in the show is phenomenal. Um, but absolutely, I mean, there aren't too many shows now anyway that really don't need to be written let alone produced, um, you know, to be perfectly frank. Um, this is definitely not that case. Um, this show potentially, you know, is, is maybe not life-altering, but certainly outlook-altering or affecting. You know, you, you should walk out of there feeling something. 
and, and that's really what art is about, isn't it? Oh, look, one stockings. We're back to the vlog. Oh, hey, D. Hey, hey. Autumnal equinox. Today's abs brought to you by Avanti's. Here she is, boys. Here she is, world. It's Rose. Look who's here. Hey, gang. Look who's here. And this <laughs> what is it about you? That Two hair. feet, one bag, <laughs> one nick. Yeah. Everything is bag. super lit at the fun oh home. Don't eat that one. No, Go eat away. it, Daniel. Eat it. <laughs> I'll eat it. We still got some mic checks going on. I'll totally eat it. We're on hiatus right now, though. <laughs> Don't eat it now. It's dead. Connor's hanging out back there. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Jenny, say hi, Jenny, say hi. Well, I remember recording. <laughs> and I'm singing. Yeah, say hi. Hey, we're here. It's like so companion to a kiss so from a rose on the grave. <laughs> There's Helen. I honestly didn't know who you were. Nice wave, thank you. Oh, you <laughs> we hate to see you go, but we love to watch you leave. I only met you once 